All right, Benson, for the last time, have you finished with that appropriations bill? Yes, I have, and I put it on the governor's desk. Well, and it's about time. And I advise him not to sign it. Are you telling me we are not going to shore up the Capitol building? No, I'm telling you we're not going to shore up a bunch of fat politicians. In that rider they tacked on, they tried to sneak through a new Senate gym. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with the old Senate gym? It's two blocks away. Let them jog over. <laughs> Benson, the Speaker of the House, weighs 230 pounds. He can't jog. He can roll, can he? <laughs> so, that's it, eh, Benson? In a nutshell. And speaking of nutshells, why don't you go back to your office? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Certainly. Benson? Yeah. Ow! I said get out! That's a warm goodbye. Come on in, Marcy. I got the last. Said goodbye to everybody else. Well, how did it go? Well, everybody was wonderful. Uh, with the possible exception of Clayton. <laughs> what did he do? Well, he had the gall to ask me how much Dan and I expected to make from the ad agency. What'd you tell him? The truth. The first time I've ever seen Clayton cry. <laughs> you look like you've been doing some crying of your own. Yeah. I came prepared, though. I wore industrial strength mascara. When's your flight? Tomorrow morning. You think you'll come visit us in Buffalo? You want the truth? Lie. I'll be there first chance I get. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. Take care of yourself, huh? You too. All right.